the last manta, full of civilians, is attempting to escape. But Necron forces are swarming in for the kill, led by the Silent King himself. Can a desperate Tau rear guard protect the civilians until they escape the murderous Necrons? This is 40k in 40 minutes. Welcome to 40K in 40 Minutes. My name is Tycho, and today we bring you a brutal 2,000 point Warhammer 40K match between Tau Nick and Michael Buckthorpe's Necrons. Our sponsor, Deadly Prince Studios Model Effects, bring a new level of awesome to minis on tabletops everywhere. Customize your minis with their 3D printable effects or buy them direct from Deadly Print through the affiliate link below. There's always new stuff to find too, like this custom Onager Gauntlet or these Necron weapons and flying stands. Follow the link in the description and upgrade your favorite models with Deadly Print today. Make sure to tell them the Play On Tabletop sent you. Nick's Tau have recently seen a big upgrade with their new codex, and Nick is super excited. I mean, like, even more than usual to see how some of his new prototypes fare on the battlefield. It's so awesome! He is bringing a battalion of Tau Sept supported by a super heavy auxiliary detachment, on Chi, and a fire blade support Enforcer Crisis Suit Commander Warlord sporting a shiny thermoneutronic projector and Onager Gauntlet. A diverse core of crude carnivores, a strike team, and Nick's signature breachers zoom around in their devilfish transports. Two Crisis Suit teams sporting plasma and a variety of other weapons and a minimum squad of stealth suits for elites. Fast attack, see crude hounds, pathfinders, flinging marker lights, and some custom Vespid Stingwings dropping from the sky. A broadside and a hammerhead hover tank are extreme range killers with their mortal wound dealing rail guns. The cherry on top with one of the most extreme weapons in all of 40K. Nick's Storm Surge is purpose built to dig in and lay waste to the enemies of the greater good. Nick made a mistake with his building here. We have since filming realized that Anshi cannot be taken in a non viorla detachment without losing your Mon Ka ability. So sorry. I gotta say, I am pumped. Games Workshop has given us quite the beast of a codex here. <laughs> They've uh, amped up all the guns to 11 and the internal balance of the codex is amazing. I don't think there's any bad units in the codex and I'm looking forward to just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks. I've heard a lot about the new Tau book. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun but uh, to try and figure out how to pick apart this puzzle because I've heard they're very, very strong. The Silent King is the supreme commander of Michael's patrol of relentlessly expansionist, eternal conquering custom Necron dynasty. Say that three times fast. A lord on foot and Technomancer bear the relic's orb of eternity and veil of darkness to guard and shepherd a full 20 Necron warriors into the battle. Catan Shard of the Deceiver and a big unit of six Scorpec Destroyers bring some serious melee punch. Large units of Scarabs and Wraiths are quick and tough, a good combination to swarm the Tau gun line. Doomsday Arc Watson and a trio of Locust Heavy Destroyers will be pounding their prey with heavy Gauss destruction. The Doomsday Arc and Hammerhead will have quite the duel of huge guns. Obviously I know a lot about how Tau are the shooting nightmare right now. They can, if you do not prepare well, they can blow you off the tables. Today's Warzone Nakmund mission is the scouring. Primary objectives for the scouring are taken hold and strategic scan. Strategic scan gives three points for performing the Auspex scan action on objectives for a possible 15 primary points per turn. Tau, start with 10 command points, and Nick's secondary objectives picks are engage on all fronts, aerospace targeting relay scores with infantry performing actions near relay markers, and finally to the last, keeping the storm surge, hammerhead, and his crisis suits alive will be a priority. The Necrons kick off with 13 command points and go with code of combat, reaping points for units killed by Necron nobles, stranglehold, a difficult secondary to max out, requires Mike to hold three objectives to score three points every round. Assassinate has only three targets. Not ideal. I suppose it's the best of a bad situation if Michael did not feel comfortable bringing down Nick's vehicles. 
early mistakes may prove decisive as both of these armies will punish exposed enemies and there are only so many places to hide from the big guns. Yeah, my deployment is a big gamble. So it's kind of a roll of the dice, but uh, I'm really, really hoping I get first turn. I need to be aggressive. I need to get in Nick's face. I can use my redeployment, my pregame move a little bit to be defensive if I have to be, but my, my goal is to get right up in Nick's grill, try and stuff all your shooting units up as best I can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get shot. It's gonna be shooting gallery, man. <laughs> Michael has won the initiative. We'll get the jump on the escaping Tau. I graduated top of my class at the redeployment and hiding school. Good luck, sir. Come and get me, Nick. Good luck. Here we go. Modka! Overwhelming force. All my units get an additional AP at close range. The deployment is only half the story, with more than half the models on the table able to move before the game begins. A big switcheroo with the Deceiver redeploy floods the top of the map, slings the Silent King forward, and puts Watson into a shootout with Nick's broadside and possibly even the hammerhead. Brave, brave Sir Watson. What, I, what I've basically done with this is, uh, it's a very classic strategy called Refuse Plank. I basically picked everything up from one side, moved it to the other, and that is what I paid the points, the big points for the Deceiver for. Mike, up to 14 command points, the Silent King commands his warriors and heavy destroyers to kill them all, plus one to hit. The Lord's Will for reroll ones goes to the Forward Warrior Blob, Protocol Directive 2 of Sudden Storm to shoot while completing actions will keep the guns firing while scoring points. Good move. Hungry for blood, the Necrons quickly move into assault positions. I'm gonna start with Cosmic Insanity from the Deceiver into your crew. Mind-bending Cosmic Insanity from the Deceivers slam the crew for six mortal wounds and manages to kill so many that his follow-up power has no targets. Tough break. I will put all of my shots from, from the Silent King yep. to that broadside. This <gasps> are those ones? Those are ones. I'm actually going to command point reroll one of these. Okay. I, I, I got it into a three. So that is one wound minus four. And okay. Flat six damage. Come on, go. buddy! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and he makes it. Oh, Strong he armor makes on it. the broadside. Okay. Uh, let's go to the, the the one, the only, the one. Okay. I'm going to put Watson's big gun into that guy. The little gun, you've convinced me. They're T4, so I should. Just one. Six damage, he's got two wounds remaining! So all the little guns into little the guns, other yes, puppies. That's right. So all puppies but one are dead. I like those puppies. I wanted to try using them, the four puppies. We got one left. Okay, uh, we're gonna do the low cursed heavy destroyers. That's okay, so the one. the storm surge, yes. one into the uh, yes. broadside. Okay, we're gonna roll the one into your broadside first. Kill the ones, that's a hit. And I am gonna go ahead and spend one command point for techno oracular array. So if I fail it, he's automatically dead on a five up. Five up! Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> he's alive! The 
broadside survives a final volley from the destroyer and will be able to return fire at full effect. Another tough break. Let's find out what happens. Split fire into the storm surge is ineffective. This is not looking good. Some shots into your uh, okay. guys here. So I'm going to take these two guys off. Okay. Make it a little harder for me. And make that charge hopefully just a little bit harder. Because the difference of him surviving or not yes. is the difference of me bringing in my crisis suit first turn or not. Okay, charges. Let's actually start with the Wraith. Wraith is gonna go into your stealth suit. That eight. How many double ones are you gonna roll? Well, you're gonna re-roll it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dude, you can do it again. I believe in you that you can do it again. Here we go. Here we go. Seven! Oh, yeah! Ah. So let's go with Scorpex. Scorpex are going to multi-charge both your doggo and the uh, self suit. Uh, let's do it. Uh, Scorpex, they have an ungodly amount of attacks. You know what? You I'm going to give this one to you. You don't want to. <laughs> um, this is your I actually hit you three times. And he wins you once. Oh. No, oh, I save it. All right. Oh. All right, so that's the end of your turn. The crew failed their leadership, but only two flee. The Necrons have advanced, but failed to do meaningful damage. Positioning aggressively exposes the Necrons, and if Nick's dice remain hot, I predict the Tau will be able to kill more than one unit. On the upside, units on three objectives are performing Auspex scan strategic actions, so points will be coming. On to Tau turn one. All right, my turn, and I get to fire with everything. Command phase brings Nyx to 11. Invocation of stone goes off, so Nick will ignore wounds on five or higher on one of his core units. Up to 12 command points with Anshi's invocation of the elements. Crisis suits fly up onto the Orca to take the center objective. I'm gonna spend a command point on combat debar debarkation. Okay. debarkation. Um, allowing my uh, devil fishes to move and then the guys can get out afterwards. Okay. So Drones are off doing drone things using the designated tasking stratagem. He's gonna fall back. Just be another unit holding this objective. Wee! I'm gonna do recon sweep. Which is? Uh, basically, I get to fire with all of their marker lights on plus one to the roll. Then they get to do a normal move. I've got seven marker lights to spread out. I'm gonna put two marker lights into these. Okay. I'm gonna put two marker lights into Watson. What? Two into the destroyers. What? And one into the scarabs. One into the scarabs. Do I get it? Scarabs are hit by a marker light because they have two now. Two, okay. two into the warriors. I hit two in the warriors. Okay. Two marker lights into the destroyers. Two hits into the destroyers. Two marker lights into Watson. Getting both into Watson. All right, marker lights abound. That's a good strategy. It is a good strategy, because now I get to do normal move as well. Okay. I'm gonna spend one command point on onboard sensors from the Devilfish to give uh, these uh, these infantry right here the real ones. Okay, putting it 10 command I get it back. A pulse onslaught stratagem on the breachers. Bring the Tau to eight command points and will make their Pulse Blasters auto wound on natural sixes to hit. Relentless Full Assad on Nick's strike team for double their shots and minus one AP, bring his command points down to seven. So where do you want to go first? Because I, uh, I have strategies to play depending on which target. I know, I don't know what to fire first. It's too many. I'm going to go with Devilfish into Warriors. Pass them all. Nice, good start for that. I'm gonna go with uh, these guys back here now. Okay. And they're gonna fire into the Scorpex. So, 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 okay, so, so Scorpex, I'm going to spend a singular command point to spend Whirling Blades. Oh, 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 okay. Nope. Just one down. Okay, and then the Pathfinders will also fire into them. We'll go first with the um, the Carbines. Kill two, so I killed this guy. Before we remove him, okay. do the rest of the shooting from this squad. 
Okay, and then the rail guns. Okay. These will be at minus one to hit because they move. The rail guns on the pathfinders do land two hits, however, and drop some destroyers. Five up. But one gets back up. So two shots from the fire blade into the Sopix. Um, nope, does two damage. Okay, so one guy's got one wound remaining. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is really tough to know exactly how to do this perfectly. The hammerhead railgun is gonna try to down Watson with his big <laughs> giant gun. I got the chance, let's do it. I'm gonna use one of the marker lights to do it. Okay. Then he's got his smart missiles, which yep. are all gonna go into the Sopa destroyers. Okay. In lastly, he's got two seeker missiles, okay. um, which are also gonna go into these destroyers. All right, so into these Sopa destroyers, see if I can finish them off here. Okay. I doubt I can, maybe, maybe. Uh, five. I'm sorry, minus two. So one dies and one has a wound left. This one here? Yep. Frequency lock. And that's to I, give it, you plus one. It adds one. plus one to wound, but it lets me shoot out of line of sight. I don't need that out of sight, but what I do want is plus one to wound. Hitting two, six it another time. Okay. Second one does one, two, three, four damage. Okay, so you ice a guy and one guy's got one wound remaining. Okay, and then the shot that matters, can I down Watson with one rail gun shot? No. I would love this to happen, but we'll see. Hitting on two. Yes, it wounds! D3 plus six plus yeah. three mortal wounds. How many wounds do you have? 14. So you should be alive. I did, I did, uh, I did ten. six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10 wounds to him. Okay, so we have four wounds remaining on Watson. All right, so next we're gonna uh, go with these crisis suits right here. Okay. These crisis suits are gonna shoot at Watson with all their plasma Excuse guns. Excuse me. I, cause this will matter, so I will spend a command point to boost his invuln save to a four up. They're gonna shoot their missile pods here but they're fusion blasters yeah, into yeah, the race here. All right, so I'm using um, a Barkalite on Watson. Hopefully okay. finish him off. Okay. Both. Ooh, very nice. And now the missile pods into him. Okay. Kill two. Two flat, so that's four damage. So I will spend a command point to reroll one of these. All right, you need a four up, right? I need a four up. Oh, oh got him. Got Watson. Now, Does he can explode? you do me one more favor? What? Can you please explode? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yes! Okay, so this locker is gonna ice one guy for sure. Uh, lockers take three wounds. So okay, so one on here kills yep. this guy, and then and how many wounds are these? Two. two. There, are, there are four wounds total, so two wounds. So two wounds remain on this yep. guy. And then yep. the other Boom. one. Boom! Does three wounds in ah! There we go. Okay, okay. So far, split firing is working. Okay. Then we're gonna go into uh, the commander. He's gonna pump everything into these Sopic. Perfect. Ice a guy. Any more shooting at it? Yes. First cannon. Cleaning that up. Then we can go with my broadside. So he will shoot everybody uh, at the race. That guy in the Except for smart missile system that's going to here. No, it's smart missile system going to here because it's out of line of sight. Line of sight. Okay. So rail guns, and uh, he's also gonna shoot his one shot secret, uh, secret missile into here. Okay. So his secret missile into these race. I'm fine. Smart missile system into uh, this guy with two wounds remaining. Five on. Did it get him? I needed that too. Whew, brutal. All right. Um, then these breachers are okay. all gonna fire into these warriors. They're gonna use one of these marker lights. Do you okay. so? 9, 10, 11, 12 at minus three at this range. Okay, so you just kill 12. So I don't have a armor save. So I gotta take 12 off. And then. One's there. Pick Let's up see if they come back. Dice. I'm looking for fives and I'm reeling one. So I killed six. He killed six. Those guys are tough to kill. All right, then next we're gonna do these, these breachers. Okay. And they're gonna pile everything into those as well. So this is one, you two, three, one. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 in total. Yeah. How All many right. got there? 14. <laughs> you got 14 left there? And 14. So you get three roll more fives. Oh my goodness. For one. Five come back again. Yeah. So I did like 30 wounds to that squad and still only killed a little uh, more than half. Did pretty good, did pretty good. <laughs> okay, not gonna, not... okay, last, the storm surge. Mick has saved his storm surge for last. We have been waiting for this. Let's see what the walking battleship can do. Okay, sorry, I know the tower shooting phase is a little long. He's gonna do his cluster rocket system into these guys. He's gonna do his destroyer missiles okay. into the wraiths here. And he's gonna do his big gun into the wraiths as well to try to finish them off. Okay, cluster rocket system. 
Only four wounds. Yeah. You gotta make four saves. Four ones, there we go. Come on! <laughs> three D, three shots from the big gun. Two. My four, three damage. Uh, so you killed two wraiths. I, I mean, I shouldn't complain. I did a lot of damage. Yeah, you, uh, um, you I wait. feel like I, I killed a lot. That was a pretty strong shooting phase. Two command points on insane bravery. The Necron Warriors will not run away this round. So I've still scored zero points. Michael has scored a bunch of points, and if I'm not careful, he can run away with the game. I think I've pretty well got him hemmed into his deployment zone, so we'll see how uh, this next turn pans out. Score is three for the Necrons and zero for the Tau at the end of round one. Okay, so I just got shown uh, exactly what Tau shooting can do, so now the game is do not let Nick shoot anymore. The Technomancer brings a Wraith back, bringing them up to three models, more than enough to do some damage. So we'll start off the Orb of Eternity on the Lord over there. He's gonna put his Res Orb in the ground. We'll... And then all the machines just kind of reassemble all and come together. All the machines reassemble, yeah. The Orb of Eternity resurrects five warriors, and they muscle Nick off the center objective to score 12 more primary points. Great job. Total of 18 victory points. He also puts a few warriors back. Oh, just one, uh, costing one command point, bringing him down to nine. Yep, he's in nice. Okay, so we're gonna put my will be done on both the wraiths as well as the warriors. And I'm gonna put the reroll ones onto the wraiths, pardon me. Bloody, but far from beaten. Mike is doing his talking on the scoreboard and settling into a healthy lead. We're gonna melt the mind of a hammerhead. See if you can melt him. So you and I dice off. I got a three. I got a two. You got a 10 to my 13, you take three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds of 14. Your so I got 11 wounds remaining. Antimatter meteor blasts two Tau soldiers into oblivion. So that was antimatter meteor, I melted your mind. I'm gonna spend one command point to do echoes of the whatever, whatever. Basically it allows me to, yeah I know, right? echoes of. You do an ability that kills things. It's antimatter meteor again, so I just do the same thing double again. Double it up. Yep, you will. I save one of them. One. So two go through. Okay. Okay, so he's done. Let's go to the Technomancer over there. Technomancer is going to put his uh, Staff of Light into the Breachers. Yeah. So hitting on threes. Ups. Five ups. One, two. just one. So two wounds go through. The Warriors are going to shoot. Yep. I'm gonna put, I think, eight shots here. Okay. And then the remaining six we're gonna fire into these the, guys. The crisis suit squad. Yeah, Got it. it. Oh, Whoa, did you make all One of goes through. Wow. Are they 12 shots into your into crisis, suits, yeah, yeah. crisis suits? Three ones. Two ones. Two I've ones. got uh, two ones left on one of the crisis suits. So one of these is gonna go into him. One of these is gonna go into him. And then his two shooting attack, I'm gonna put all of them into these fire warriors over here. So let's start off with the gun into that guy over there. The Silent King can turn this around all by himself and easily blows the broadside away using his auto wound stratagem techno ocular targeting. Okay, he's gone. Oh, how many damage do you do? Six. That's amazing. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. That scores a point for his code of combat secondary objective. As usual, the nobles show the way. The second Annihilation Beam vaporizes the last stealth suit for another three points. And finally, the squad of Breachers in the middle dies to the rest of the King's shooting. Excellent target priority here from Mike. Nets him a pile of victory points. And then, I don't think I have any more shooting, so let's go to charge phase. First charge is going to be the race into your Fire Warriors. I'm gonna do one CP for Photon Grenades. They're gonna go right into these wraiths here. Okay. You are now minus two to your charge, so you okay. can possibly fail this. Okay. And you're minus one to hit for this fighting round. Charge again. Yeah. Uh, it was the minus one to hit that I'm hoping to keep the, keep the guys it's alive. It's good, because they're plus one to hit, now they're minus one to hit, so yeah. it gets rid of them. They're hitting on fours now. Scarabs into your crew. Okay, Scarabs into your crew, please fail. And that's a nine, that'll do it. So he's gonna... In the Breachers, yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on in. That's actually do it. Okay, next up, the Silent King. 
Oh, you want to charge my commander, don't you? Next, the Deceiver declares a charge into the Crisis Suits, but he triggers their early warning override system. Tau Overwatch is still a thing, folks. Nyx will be hitting on fives here. And it costs zero P CP to do the stratagem. It's gonna be three. So you've done three damage to him. So I've done his full amount, because he can only be wounded three wounds per phase. Correct. Yeah, so that's pretty deadly. Yeah. Down to six wounds remaining. Yep. That's 10. Okay. And then the warriors are gonna charge your crisis suits. Warriors are gonna charge your crisis suits too? Yep. So you just do like a two. Oh! Four. Uh, yeah, you barely make it. Perfect. Okay, uh, and then the Silent King is going to charge into the Crisis Suits as well. So All right. Nope. So I'm going to have to re-roll. Oh, did you fail? Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so that is all your charges. That's all my charges. I heroically intervene into these wraiths with my commander. Sounds good. Drop! Okay, the Deceiver is going to put his attacks into the Crisis Suits, so hitting on uh, twos. Got one. Do I save any with the Femal Pain? I saved none, so that kills one guy that had two wounds remaining. Okay. Can save him. Doesn't save any, so one Crisis Suit has one wound remaining. Shasso Kikasso! Interruptus. The Commander steps in and uses two command points for counter-offensive. His thermoneutronic projector gets the wounded wraith, and then the dragon punch Shoryuken from the Onager Gauntlet nearly finishes off the other two. Command rerolled invulnerable save is the only thing that keeps the last wraith alive. And now I get to see, did the wraith come back? Yes, they do. All of them? No, just one. Oh, that's still rough, but okay, so this one's gone I'm and then sorry. comes back. The warriors fail utterly, despite full rerolls. Sweeping. The Crisis Suits is nothing for the Silent King. He has nearly maxed out his Code of Combat secondary in one turn. So you are like nailing me on points. I think I'm still at zero points. So there's seven Scarabs, they have four attacks apiece. Scarabs next. Okay. Sixes. Nothing, you wipe the squad. Yay. The Scarabs swarming the airport chew up the crew defenders and pile onto the objective. This is a great play and puts the Necrons into scoring position, a great spot to keep that lead. See, I might be blowing you off the table, what? but even that I think is over optimistic because yes, I did a lot of damage, but I can't do anything here I at this point in the game. Hitting on okay, race here into yep. the breachers. Yep. And then minus one. Minus one to hit. Okay. Well. okay. I don't get any sixes, so four dead. You get sixes or five ups or no? Nothing, nothing. On two. Oh, right! There's two damage apiece. Third one. Anshi saves one. Good job, Anshi. Anshi! Uh, Lord is going to attack into this guy. Okay. Lord right here fighting into my remaining five breachers. First one oh, saves it. Nice. Second one. Oh, oh, oh saves oh. it. Good yeah. job, Anshi. So only one more dies. Okay. I'm done. So, uh, All right, so I let's, think you do. So I either take a morale test, but... Um, you've got two guys within range, and I've got two guys within range. So I'm going to auto-pass them to hold that objective. Well, Mike is ahead, 33 to nil. The Silent King has personally wrecked Nick's center, but has sacrificed a large portion of his forces to do so. If I know Nick, he has a plan for this. Have to make sure that he does not run away with the score too much that I can't catch him later in the game. The top right, Picasso himself, will take and hold four points. And the Fire Warriors near the Manta finish the final loading and will set up their aerospace targeting relay for six whole victory points. Command phase sees marker lights winking on and the storm surge plunges anchors into the hard ground, bracing for the barrage. Okay. On, on a two up. I got a command point from Onshi. Breacher squad is going to fall back. Okay. So out of combat here. Vespid drop onto the very back of the Necron deployment zone to do some aerospace targeting. The Crisis suits land onto the top left objective with drop threat acquisition orders flooding their command circuits. Target information costing Nick another two command points. 
for those full rerolls. Let's see if I can't clean this up. Markalite time. Okay. All right, so Markalite from the Fireblade into the... Three. On a three up. I'm gonna do Recon Sweep with the Pathfinders. So they now hit on twos, and then they can make a normal move afterwards. On a two, that's two into the Scarabs. Okay. They get two one. into the Silent King. One to the Wraiths, one to the Necro Warriors. Got them both. And then we've got one more Markalite from the Marker Drone here, yep. who's gonna try to get the... Let's put another Silent King. Okay. And got it, so there's three on the Silent King. Let's fire everything. Let's start with something really simple, Devilfish going into uh, these Wraiths right here. Okay. Five. Eight. Pass two fail one. One so has one wound remaining. One goes down to one wound. Okay. So the recon sweep of the Pathfinders now. Okay. They're gonna fire all of their guns into these wraiths and try to finish them off. Uh, sorry, they are gonna use a marker for this. Apologies. Fail three, so you wipe one, and one's got one wound remaining. Excellent. I've got more shots with this unit. Okay. And then the rail guns. Nope. And then these guys are gonna move four up. Strike team spend a further command point on Relentless Felisade and target the Technomancer and execute him. Oh yeah, do I get the command point back? I do. Hammerhead is using one of these uh, marker lights, bringing me down to two. Okay. And aside from his smart missiles into the Scarab first. Nope. Oh, damage? Uh, one. Okay, so you kill a base. All right, and then the uh, railgun shot into the big guy. Ready for this? I'm ready. Here Hang on fours. Hang on. Ah! Oh no! Oh, that's sad. Kakasso empties his firepower into the Deceiver Catan shard and manages to max out damage immediately with a plasma blast, wasting much of his firepower. Split fire, Nick, split fire. All right. So that Devilfish is gonna pile into these Necron Warriors. Two. Uh, yeah. He's not gonna use the Marker Light. AP1. Okay, two dead. Are oh, you took up there? No! I was just about to flame them to death. <laughs> They're gonna be like utterly flamed and burnt to crisp. These crisis suits are gonna fire right now. Okay, got it. They're gonna use one marker light okay. on the Silent King. Okay. Plasma rifles uh -huh. into the Silent King. Burst cannons okay. into the Necron Warriors. Okay. And flamers uh -huh. into the Necron Lord. Flamers torch the Necron Lord with a big roll, but he will have a chance to get up due to Mike's resurrection pota crawls that cost him his command point. Okay, and then the burst cannons into the Necron Warriors. Oh, how many got left? I only lost four guys. Wow. Well done, man. And Nick? Oh! Necrons, you just hit them and you hit them and you hit them and they just keep on coming back. Why would they ever make something so broken in Necrons? <laughs> no, no, you had more stuff to fire from the Silent King. Oh, wait, the Silent King, thank you. And three plasma shots in the Silent King. That's right. I make two fail one. How much damage? Three damage each. So just one went through. Yeah. So three damage. So one of the men here says two wins remaining. Oh, I didn't kill it. Okay, so my Storm Surge now goes, and the lot's up to him to finish this off. He's going to fire his cluster rocket system okay. into the Scarabs. Okay. He's gonna fire his smart missile system into the Scarabs. He's gonna fire his flamers into the Scarabs. Okay. He's gonna fire his big gun into the Silent King, and he's gonna fire his destroyer missiles into the Silent King as well. He's using the Mark Light for the Silent King and one of the Mark Light on the Scarabs. Cluster rockets, flamers, and a partridge in a pear tree smart missile system pound the Scarabs down to one base. And another one reanimates. Okay, and then his uh, big gun into the Silent King. The pulse driver cannon and destroyer missiles remove the men here, but leave the Silent King unharmed and standing tall in the middle of the table. Are we at the end of phase? Hey, we are at the end of phase. Is, is he gonna stand back up? Yes! Oh, he's back up! <laughs> He's back! I am back! Into the charge phase, I'm gonna charge the Satan Shard with Chasso at Kikasso. Into the Satan Shard we go, and we are going to hit you with everything we got. <laughs> All right, so Flamer into you. I passed two, or the dam two uh, damage. Two damage flat. Ah, hey! I've already, no, I haven't used the reroll this phase. Oh! Okay, you gotta get it on a four. No. Oh. Okay, does he explode? Onto the table. Yay! Wait, he explodes on a four up? He explodes on a four up. Yeah. <laughs> Nick earns his most valued treasure a massive explosion as reality unravels at the passing of an ancient Catan god shard. The blast strips wounds from all the units around, including 
three mortal wounds to the Silent King himself. What a boom! Well, that was pretty good for the Tau here, but Nick has failed to remove the Necrons from the objectives. He scores three for engaging on all fronts, but the Necron advance is pretty thin at this point. Mike's focus on his mission objectives is keeping him on top. So for those who haven't seen The Last Samurai, there's a very, very infamous scene where they, the cow, like they're charging and it's the heroic last charge. They charge right into the gun line. And just... That's what you're about to see. Mike will score big again at the top of three, pushing his total to 41 points with a double hold. Gaining a much needed command point, the Silent King enacts the command protocol Undying Legions and heals wounds on his characters and scarabs. You really need to put Necrons down or they will just keep coming back. My will be done on the remaining warriors will help a bit. Let's go to the movement phase where I'm going to advance my scarabs. Yeah. I need a need probably a hefty number. Oh! Probably not it. Give a command point. Spending a command reroll here will limit his options for later this turn, but he really needs those points. Oh, that was close. The scarabs float away to steal the objective from Redfish. The king's throne rises over the orca dropship to challenge Chasso Kikasso in a duel of warlords. What a fantastic climax to this epic fight this is going to be. And now I have strangle hold. Let's go to shooting phase. So this is where I have to be kind of crafty. We're gonna fire everything from the side so we're gonna do the fire plate. Five ups can save them! Five ups can order damage! I got one, so no, he's, okay, he's, he's dead. Okay, that is Three points for Code of Combat and three points for Assassinate. Fire. That was really good. Yeah, that worked out okay. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> swing there. Um, you're racking up those points. Trying to. You might not have much left, but you're racking up the points. Right. Okay, so I got seven warriors left. Yep. They're going to put all their shots into your... Into uh, poor, into poor, your poor, poor, pathfinders. poor pathfinders. Yeah. It's on sexes! Oh, oh, three sexes! <laughs> These two all. guys are gone. Uh, two charges. First one's going to be s the warriors into these guys over here. Got it. Uh, Silent King in charge of commander. Silent King, charge of commander. I'm gonna use one command point to overwatch you now. Goes into ya. Everything. Make one, fail two. So how much damage did I actually do? You did four total. That was worth it. You gonna do the work? Okay. Yeah, get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. You're not gonna interrupt me with any No, I have nothing to interrupt you with. Still. Uh, I save two, three go, go through. through, and I save one more, so two wounds. Let's do the big one. See if you can kill my commander. Shasso right. kick ass. So he ignites his shield. He looks at you menacingly. Yep, there we go. Hitting on two. And I save them. Oh. Okay. Uh, no problem. Sight to dust. Four attacks, hitting on two. So the first one was him. Yeah. Now it's his buddies on each side of him. Oh, got it. All right, on a four up and vulnerable again. Saves two of them. One okay, goes so through. So that's three damage. So he's down to seven. Uh, Six, five, four. So he's got four wounds remaining. And the last one. On a four up. No, it goes through. How much damage does that do? One. King swings his ancient staff, but Nick's shields hold. Kikasso is still alive. Shasso, Kikasso, into the Silent King. Let's fight. Let's do See it. how many shots I get? Six shots. Oh, Six. Like the best. A flamer. Four. Which is. Uh, two fail, so four wounds. Four damage. Okay. So Three. you're down to six? I'm down to six. So now. His four attacks from his Onager Gauntlet. He powers it up. Okay, here we go. Three, four up. Three damage each. Oh, you made them all! <laughs> High five, man. That was awesome. Mike grabs another three for Stranglehold, three for Code of Combat, and three for Assassination, bringing his total to 50, really running up the scoreboard. He may have solved the riddle of the railgun. Just go and win the game. Well, at this point, I think the battle is pretty much over. However, Michael still has scored a lot of points. So I've gotta be still really careful here. I can't just phone it in because if I don't pay attention and make sure I score as many points as I can, he could potentially still walk away with this game. Nick's turn three command phase sees the completion of another aerospace targeting relay for a total of six on that secondary and has finally got some decent primary points here, racking up 11 points. Uh, on she. 
Doesn't give him another command point. You guys will hold an objective here. They're also gonna perform the strategic scan here. This crisis suit unit is going to strategic scan here. Okay. This uh, Pathfinder unit is gonna fall back. Chasso Kikasso bravely runs away. And then everything else is gonna shoot now. I actually have very little to shoot, but we'll see if I can do it. Best bit. Into those scarabs over there. This Dillfish here is gonna fire into those scarabs as well. Okay. Well, they're gone. Wipes the scarabs. This uh, Dillfish into this Necron Lord. Okay, so he takes one wound. He's got three remaining. Thanks. The fire warriors again use relentless facade and target the warriors on the other side of the storm surge. Minus two. One left. There's one left, so now you can see if any come back. Two come back. Okay. Hammerhead's gonna fire his smart missile system into this lord. He's gonna fire his railgun into the Silent King. Let's do the railgun. Let's see if it's. Railgun into the Silent King. Misses. <laughs> See, I've missed twice now, guys. But you have a reroll. And do a one. one. <laughs> so for those of you that are terrified of the hammerhead, look at that. He did ice Watson in one. I did ice Watson, but he's now fired three times and only hit once. That's true. It's only one shot, guys. Watson got six. Uh, Fail two. It's damage. Uh, one damage each. He's got one wound remaining. Oh! All right, down to the storm surge, and that's it. Smart missile system here. He's gonna fire his flamer here, yep. and then he's gonna fire his cluster of rocket system here. Are you gonna make me roll that? Um, so, so you get. So let, let me just make sure I understand. So threes re-roll, and then re-roll the ones, and then extra, and then the carry the four, and the. Yeah, I'm just gonna take them off. It's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Smart missiles into the Lord. So the Storm Surge is going to go roll here, killing three units in one round here. So he's killed the Warriors, he's killed the Lord, and now he's going to kill the Silent King with his 3d3 shots from his big, massive, giant gun. You can do that. Do it. You do it! Well done, man! He's got three wounds remaining. No other shooting. That is it for shooting. Any other charges? Ah, uh, there's no point in charging you unless I want to charge you with Anshi. I'm going to hold it for the interview. To Anshi? Yeah, I guess you do, because you get to fight first regardless. Yep. The Silent King doesn't have many wounds left. And although it's unlikely, Anshi does have a really good close combat weapon and a four up and vulnerable save. So if I get in there and I get lucky, I only need two wounds to stick. And I killed the Silent King with an ethereal. That is so worth it. I hold every single objective. You have one model left. Don't make either. How much damage does it do? This is the silly part. I think it only does two damage a piece. Are you serious? Yeah. He's alive with one wound remaining. <laughs> on Chi is going to kill the Silent King right here, right now. You saw it only on play on tabletop. Here we go. Five attacks. It all comes down to this. Can on Shui do it? On Chi! He can. On Shui, an 85 point model, slaves a 450 point supreme commander. <laughs> the Tau are now free to run up the scoreboard, putting this victory solidly in the hands of the Tau. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to our fantastic players. Also, thank you, the viewer, without whom we couldn't do this. Consider supporting us directly on Patreon. You will get our releases early, uh, you get Discord access, and some exclusive streams, uh, possibly even some other goodies as well. Well, lastly, another big thank you to our sponsor, Deadly Print Studios. We love the immersion their amazing battle effects bring to our games. Make sure to go check out all their sweet, sweet goodies if you want to make your models shine that extra bit. Well, from Play On Studios, thank you for watching, and until we see you next time in the grim darkness of the far-flung future, play on! Go on, G! Hey, top players, you've had a rough year. This is your time. This is your moment in the sunshine. I think we need to go bigger this time. Another battle, maybe? Maybe apocalyptic in nature? I don't, I don't think a game like that exists.
Maybe bring like a Manta? A Taunar? Maybe Michael has access to some of those big giant pylons and monoliths. Hmm.